Hey guys, see you on Nexus here. And today we're going to be talking about this TAS tournament currently on the sandbox version of the Art of War 3. So as you may have noticed, the test button no longer gives you to a 3 versus 3 battle, but rather this test tournament right here, which I really don't have any idea about. So for now, in this video, I'm only going to share my thoughts and my suggestions because this tournament is still in testing, which means there may be some changes that GG may implement before this is submitted to the main version. So let's get on to it. For now, the goal here is to capture and hold flags. And when you get the flags, you will be um, given transports, which will be produced by the buildings, I think. So the earlier you hold the flag, the better it's because you will get more transport. So you're going to secure yourself 50 transport. So I guess that's actually a lot. So I suggest bringing down the numbers because, um, for example, in the pumpkin tournament, uh, you only need to open 30 pumpkins. So I think it's ideal if you reduce that number to at least 40 or 30 transports because 50 i think it's a bit too much but again it's still this tournament is still in a testing version which means changes may still happen right so let's begin with the commentary as you may have noticed i am using my caimans to secure the containers on the sea i use his scouting boost because now it provides container collection speed so guys another thing i have noticed about this tournament is that the transports are not controlled by ai but rather they can be controlled by you so yeah use that to your advantage however you want all right so just don't uh, just be sure that you don't accidentally double tap and send your transports to battle you don't want that to happen all right so now the enemy is doing their job uh doing a good job at trying to secure this flag right here in order to get himself a transport so here i currently have two transports heading to my exit which is indicated by this arrow here on my base so once the transport reaches that arrow it immediately disappears so one strategy i can immediately think of here is that aviation vert i'm talking about vertex i'm talking about cyclones are pretty good in this map it's because they provide map control which is very needed in tournaments like this because using hawks or vertex or cyclones or even dragonflies i think you can snipe those transports out to oblivion all right so here you can see me this is what happened all right i accidentally tapped my transporter and sent it upward instead of downward so guys you want to try and avoid that because you don't want to send your you don't want to kill your transports all right you want to save them because you're you want to go get that 50 transports as early as you can so here the enemy has did a good job securing this area right here and i have my alligator trying to scout and see if the enemy has built a platform but unfortunately the enemy has a platform prepared but thanks to the naval scout boost or sea scouting boost i am able to hurriedly um, retreat that alligator but unfortunately it goes back in rage and just dies and then my two coyotes are doing the best job they can to actually try and secure uh, this flag but unfortunately they will get harassed out by the fortresses oh another thing i may have noticed here i did not see a large container spawning in this tournament Ooh, that's interesting is it an intentional mechanic or is it really um or did they really disable that or maybe it's a bug okay I, I do not know yet again uh this tournament is still in testing so many things may change so here i am again doing my best to secure this flag right here so of course the real question here is huh, cnx is how are you supposed to bring the transports there back to your base well that's the thing though my goal is not to bring the transporter back to the base my goal is to prevent the enemy from getting transporters from this area so even if my transporters get uh, destroyed when they try to cross that mid path over there it's it's okay it's because then at least the enemy doesn't get himself some transports and that's the only important thing right there as you can see i am using my coyotes to stop the initial assault or rushes on that flag on top of the hill and at the same time i am using my dragonflies because they are very versatile i like them so they are good against they are decent against infantry but they are also good versus vehicles so here you can see me again 
with the mole, secure this middle part of the map. But unfortunately, the enemy Zeus is a lot and they are going to potentially overcome my force, which is why I retreat because, well, I don't want them to die, unfortunately. So yeah, I think it pretty much, it's only a matter of time before the enemy actually captures that flag over there. Oh, which puts it into another suggestion. I suggest that the flag over there does not produce land transports, but rather they produce sea transports, which will be um, exported to the exits near the bases of each player respectively. Uh, that would be a very good addition though. So that makes it um, challenging to secure the land, to secure the air at the same time to secure the sea. So as you may have noticed, the enemy has decided to build himself three Vikings and unfortunately destroyed my Gators. But then that's what I have made. That's why I have made myself some Dragonflies and of course the Wasp. All right. So unfortunately, the Vikings have no anti-air. So they are very vulnerable to air units such as the Dragonflies. So I'm doing my best to do as much damage as I can. And hopefully they will not be able to reach my base and do some harass. But thankfully, this platform right here was able to be built in time and here this barracuda was also managed to get produced in time which helped me destroy this viking all right so now back to map control unfortunately all of my units there died but still the enemy still hasn't captured that flag over there which means it's a pretty much delay for him but i mean look at the stats i'm already at 23 transports and the enemy is still at four transports so even if he did manage to catch that in the long run i would still be able to win it's because i have at least 20 or 19 transports advantage ahead of the enemy so here you can see me again using the mole build myself some porcupines in case the enemy decides he wants to go vertex or cyclones at the same time some jaguars to help myself against the zeus all right so now the enemy is having a bunch of typhoons to counter my air units so i'm using my wasp ability but man these heavy assaults are doing a lot of damage to my avia units so which is why i retreat the flag is theirs now i can no longer contest that so i give them that but still i am ahead by now 28 transports which is actually a lot all right so i guess maybe oh it's still 14 minutes so all right okay maybe 40 is decent um 30 may be a little bit too low but 40 may be decent but uh, 50 is too much um it's too long all right so now the enemy is doing his best to contest the sea i use my naval scout uh, naval scout boost to help my um barracudas get out but at the same time i decide to engage i have an alligator i have a dragonfly and bam that's it pretty much the vikings are gone and now i have additional support of two alligators so now the purpose here is very simple um i noticed that the uh building which produces the transporter is very near to the sea which means they can be easily targeted by the alligator so the goal here is very simple see that transport over there my goal is as soon as as soon as the transport comes out i will use my alligators and barracudas to snipe it out of existence and here you can see that the enemy is trying to contest my control here of the center area of the map and the Z uh, he has a shield but i have a bunch of dragonflies i have the mole repairing my units as they get damaged and of course i have the wasp which gives the enemy um damage amplification which is very bad for them so yeah uh, as time passes by i produce more dragonflies i produce more jaguars and the enemy is forced to retreat unfortunately because his shield ran out of energy and still my chameleon is going on so here with that i use my mole to repair my units effectively making them ready for battle once it comes again and here i position my gator so that when the transport comes out it will immediately snipe it out and blast it to oblivion all right so now i am at 41 transports and the enemy is still at seven transports it's really shocking that at this point the enemy still doesn't have some sort of aviation maybe some cyclones or even a vertex or some thors i mean it's very weird i mean considering this type of tournaments the enemy should uh aviation is a very is a must all right so now you can see that the enemy transport once it comes out of the building it immediately gets sniped all right so now the enemy is it seems like the enemy recognizes that i am about to win using the objective so he decides to 
um, do a side maneuver of the JCP by attacking uh, by attacking this hill over here. All right. So the thing here is I have a lot of dragonflies, which means they can easily ignore terrain and harass the enemy while they are moving. And also another mistake that the enemy did here is that they did not have typhoons. That means my hawks, I my hawks and no sorry, my dragonflies and my wasp basically just hit them freely. All right, so now I finally have my leviathan out, which means yeah. Uh, the thing about leviathan is it's passive, right? So when leviathan's passive and wasp passive is combined. They make your air units pretty hard to kill because Leviathan's passive like reduces the damage it takes because of the anti uh, the countermeasures. Therefore, it reduces it by around 67%. I'm not really sure about the value. However, Wasp also has this passive which protects all the air units within an area. And that's what really happens there, alright? So if you combine it together, it makes your air units very hard to kill. And pretty much, I guess this is GG, alright? So... Guys, what are your thoughts and opinions? Share them down in the comments below, alright? So, I guess that's it for this test tournament. So, if you have any questions or some sort of queries, uh, feel free to comment down, them down below, alright? So, guess that's it for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next is over and out.